once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone was gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my book's cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost lore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels lay in Lenore, nameless here forevermore. Deep into that darkness, peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortals ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the darkness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter in there stepped the stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. By the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on that placid bust spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing further than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered other friends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Prophet said I, thing of evil prophet, still of bird or devil, whether tempter sent or whether temptest toss thee here ashore. Desolate yet all undaunted on this desert land enchanted. On this home by horror haunted, tell me truly I implore. Is there, is there bomb in Gilead? Tell me, tell me I implore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting. On the pallid bust of pallid just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamp lit o'er him streaming throws a shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore.